Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here for Playbook Experts. Welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm going to recap the action on Wednesday night in the National Basketball Association and uh, preview Thursday's seven-game card. Not to mention, offer up a free pick. The Orlando Magic have come up big for us over the last couple of days. We rode them against the Charlotte Hornets on Tuesday and then went back to the well against the Washington Wizards on Wednesday. Uh, both winners, so we'll look to keep the good times going in terms of the free plays. Our play is going to be on the Detroit Pistons and the Brooklyn Nets at the end of the video. So, yeah, let's just go back to the Magic. They were uh, down, I think, 21 points at one point against the Wizards, rallied, won the second half 66 to 44. Mo Wagner had a big fourth quarter. His brother Franz had 28 points. Paolo Banquero had 25 and 10, and the Magic are rolling 11 games over 500. First time they've been double digits over 500 since 2012 uh, and are right now situated at the number four seed in the Eastern Conference. We'll see if they're able to hold off the Miami Heat. That remains to be seen. We'll see if they can stay out of the play-in. It's a young team, young roster, but certainly coming together under Jamal Mosley. Did a really nice job last night in rallying against the Wizards. So uh, took care of business this week, not only uh, winning, but covering the spread for us. They've now won five straight and covered in all five. Clippers and the Rockets played the, uh, the first half of a nationally televised doubleheader. And uh, despite falling way behind and despite giving up another monster game to Alfie Shangoon, the Clippers rallied in the second half and won 122 to 116. Uh, underbetters that were looking great in that first half, me included, ended up uh, having to swallow a loss since the game got over once Paul George got the Clippers going. Uh, the big three for L.A. had 70 combined points, 18 rebounds, and 16 assists as Kawhi Leonard led the way with 28, I believe, maybe 29. Uh, but, yeah, the, the Rockets, Shagun is playing fantastic. The rest of the team a little shaky. Uh, they couldn't get the stops they needed and ended up losing at home. Uh, Memphis defeated the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't think the Sixers are going to be able to stay out of the play-in. Uh, they were 115 to 109 losers without Tyrese Maxey, who's sitting out with those concussion symptoms from getting hit in the head on Sunday against Dallas. No Maxey, and there was a problem. It didn't look like uh, there would be early on. The uh, Sixers had control of that game. Another solid performance from uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. off the bench. But in the fourth quarter, Memphis not only caught up, but surged ahead. Won the last 12 minutes, 34 to 16. Jaron Jackson Jr. returned to the Memphis lineup, 30 points, 11 rebounds, six blocks. Uh, and uh, Jake LaRavia uh, had his biggest game probably ever, 19 points and uh, 13 rebounds uh, for the Wake Forest product. And that ended up being uh, the difference as the Grizzlies won in Philly. 76ers really reeling until uh, Joel Embiid comes back, hopefully at the end of the month. Speaking of injuries, Evan Mobley, joined Donovan Mitchell in sitting out uh, the Cavs' loss against the Hawks in Atlanta. Atlanta is still playing without Trey Young, but has illusions of making the play-in, uh, and uh, they helped their cause uh, with a solid performance. They won the fourth quarter 25-12. to 12. A lot of these games yesterday decided in the final quarter, uh, and uh, it was a, a, a performance that Atlanta um, cost them a little bit because Jalen Johnson turned his ankle and uh, left the game. And it was uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich and Sadiq Bey coming up with 23 points apiece uh, and really making some big plays in Johnson's absence uh, to rescue that result. They won 112 to 101. Uh, and, uh, you know, Dean Wade, after dominating the Boston Celtics in the fourth quarter to avoid a loss on Tuesday, uh, was ordinary on Wednesday. Couldn't rescue the Cavs, uh, who lose uh, in Atlanta, and uh, they're going to be a team that also will have to try to avoid the play-in, but they will get Donovan Mitchell back sooner than later. Uh, in the late games, it was uh, Chicago defeating Atlanta, uh, Utah, pardon me, in Salt Lake City, 119 to 117. A couple of free throws from DeMar DeRozan, but hard luck loss for those on the Bulls, minus three and a half, four. They blew a, a, a bunny on a fast break that would have given them two points. They had a rebound late with Cody White secured uh, after uh, Utah missed a go-ahead bucket, and he ended up going out of bounds. And then the Jazz missed a three wide open from Jordan Clarkson uh, and uh, lost that game. So the Bulls get the win, but not the cover. DeMar DeRozan and Cody White combined for 54 points. 
Again, really tough non-cover for the Bulls, but at least they persevered and got that victory. Uh, Jazz really depleted. Not only were they without Laurie Markinen, but they were without Keontae George, who was injured, and also the other rookie uh, out of UCF, uh, Hendricks, who is uh, nursing an ankle injury. So uh, Bryce Sensabaugh, though, double-double, and he looks like the real deal for the Jazz, getting extended playing time. Oklahoma City held off Portland. Anthony Simons had a big second half. But a nice bounce back from the Thunder after losing in L.A. Uh, both Jalen Williams and Shea Gilgis Alexander struggled at Crypto.com Arena against uh, L.A. on Tuesday. Bounced, uh, pardon me, uh, yeah, bounced back um, with a huge performance. 31 points, four rebounds for Jay Dub, 37 points for MVP candidate SGA. Golden State, enormous after uh, bouncing back from a brutal loss. Uh, to the Boston Celtics by over 50 points on Sunday. Uh, really took time to uh, get back on track. Chris Paul made a huge difference off the bench. They had nine players with six points or more in a collective effort to dominate the Milwaukee Bucks, 125 to 90. And Giannis Antetokounmpo was in the lineup for Milwaukee. So uh, they took care of business against a uh, Bucks lineup that was only missing Chris Middleton. Uh, really dominated that game from start to finish, had 78 first half points, won the fourth quarter 32 to nine, complete effort from the uh, Warriors who also got back Andrew Wiggins and Brandon Pachemski. So uh, Steve Kerr will now look to uh, cobble together some wins and uh, hopefully move up for the Warriors sake in the Western Conference standing now, now that he has a full roster. And in the final game of the night, the Sacramento Kings beat the Lakers 130 to 120. DeMontis Sabonis improved to 9 0 in his career against Anthony Davis, had 16 points, 20 boards, and 12 assists. The Aaron Fox scored 44. Malik Monk, who will be your sixth man of the year, barring uh, something unforeseen, 26 points off the bench. Uh, and uh, the Kings took control of that game, winning the second quarter 44 to 20, and uh, rode Fox as the finisher in the second half. Uh, again, the Lakers riding a roller coaster all season uh, can't follow up that big win over the Thunder with a conquest of the Kings. Their long homestand continues. They don't leave uh, the state of California until very late this month. On Thursday, we're going to have a, a seven game card. The highlight of it, of course, is the Denver Nuggets hosting the Boston Celtics. We'll see if Jalen Brown is able to play. He's questionable. Otherwise, both rosters are good to go. Uh, so hopefully Brown plays and we see uh, both teams at full strength in what is a potential finals preview. The Warriors and, and Bulls will play uh, in San Francisco, second night of a back-to-back -back for both. Golden State looking for some consistency, obviously will be favored. Sacramento looks to take care of San Antonio after beating the Lakers last night. Kings uh, came out of that unscathed uh, and uh, will be favored against a Spurs squad that will be missing Victor Wembanyama, Wemby nursing an ankle injury after a loss in Houston earlier this week. Toronto, still without Scotty Barnes, who probably won't come back this year. Uh, center Jakob Pertl is out. Uh, Bruce Brown is out. And uh, Okai Igbaji dealing with an ankle injury uh, after, uh, or pardon me, it's a knee thing, uh, after leaving this week's game early. And uh, we'll see if he plays. Otherwise, probably see more of Grady Dick from the, uh, from the Raptors as they visit Phoenix, uh, another game without... Devin Booker for the Suns. Uh, Josh Okogie's out as well, but it didn't stop them from beating the Nuggets the other night. We'll see if Grayson Allen stays hot. And obviously Kevin Durant uh, is uh, the catalyst there, uh, trusting his teammates, helping uh, both Allen and Bradley Beal get off. Yusuf Nurkic has been a rebounding machine. Suns will be heavily favored against the Raptors. Heat and the Mavericks will square off. Uh, you know, those teams you met in two finals earlier in this century. And uh, Luka Doncic, Jimmy Butler will be well worth the price of admission. No Tyler Hero from Miami. Kevin Love still out. Uh, and Josh Richardson, it was announced on uh, Wednesday, will miss the remainder of the season with his shoulder issue. Patty Mills just recently signed for the Heat. So we'll see if he has uh, any role on that team. Uh, Terry Rozier has played really well since getting healthy again. He's getting acclimated to his new surroundings. Dallas will have Luka Doncic, Maxi Kleba, and uh, Derek Lively in the mix. And uh, it, it, this should be one of the better games of the night. We'll see who comes out ahead. Both teams looking to avoid the play-in and make a run in their own divisions. 
uh, looking up at the Magic, but certainly capable of winning the Southeast. Mavs looking up at New Orleans, not so sure if uh, they're going to be able to catch the hot Pelicans. Minnesota and Indiana will square off. Before you push that button on the over, because the Pacers are playing, keep in mind that the Timberwolves are the best defensive team in the league and won't have Carl Anthony Towns, who is a good defender, at least this season, he has his defensive win shares through the roof. But, um, you know, he clearly gives them a lot of punch. It's instead going to be Anthony Edwards carrying the bulk of the offense with no Towns dealing with a knee issue. Um, and uh, the, the uh, Timberwolves will look for Nas Reed to step it up. Uh, and uh, McDaniel will have to play a, a bigger role as well. And Indiana, will, without one of their best offensive players and uh, top six man candidate, Benedict Matherin. So, uh, really, again, one of the better matchups of the night in this one will be played at uh, Conseco Fieldhouse, a part of Gainbridge now, the Fieldhouse, and it's uh, the Pacers and Timberwolves, almost a pick 'em, uh, you know, I would think. And finally, our free play is in the matchup that few will want to watch, but I think uh, has, carries an edge, and it's the Detroit Pistons hosting the Brooklyn Nets. I think the wrong team is favored, so our free play for this matchup will be the Pistons plus the bucket against a net squad that has been up and down. They lost to the Grizzlies without Jaron Jackson Jr. at home earlier this week. Cam Johnson, Cam Thomas, and Ben Simmons will all sit this one out. They'll need Mikhail Bridges and Dennis Schroeder to be huge. And the Pistons, you know, they've been competitive uh, and, and at least giving Monty Williams a lot of effort, I think, at home. The, uh, the crowd at the Palace that hasn't quit on the, these Pistons will get them over the finish line. Take the bucket with Detroit for our free winner. Again, you can catch all of my stuff, all of my predictions, all of my pay packages throughout NBA, college, soccer. At the end of the month, we'll have MLB and the UFL going at pb.buzz slash TM right there underneath my name. You can follow me on X. Well, it should always be Twitter at Mejia De Niro. I'm Tony Mejia signing off again for Playbook Experts. Uh, follow the site at playbook.fb on Twitter and uh, follow our YouTube channel for videos just like this for free plays. We'll have a show on Friday to discuss uh, the upcoming March Madness and the M all things going on in the NBA. And you can always watch us with uh, Mark Lawrence, Andy Isco, and our producer, Greg De Palma. Again, Tony Mejia signing off.